Okay, this is going to be a short video about Comet Elenin and the three-day eclipse. A lot of doomsdayers and end-of-the-world pseudo-truthers are uh, barking around that uh, Comet Elenin is going to pass in front of the sun and that it's so big that it's going to block out the sun for three whole days. So let's just take a look and uh, see if we can get Comet Elenin to even line up with the Sun. Right now we're viewing, we're looking at the Sun and Comet Elenin from looking at it as view from the Earth. Okay, we're looking at it from the Earth and um, let's, let me show you Comet Elenin's uh, orbital path. Okay. Comet Elenin's orbital path nowhere comes close or intersects the Sun. And for those, if you don't know how, an e how a solar eclipse works, is that the Moon passes directly in front of the Sun and is the exact same angular size as the Sun to uh, block out the sunlight. And a uh, solar eclipse can last any the totality of the blackout can last anywhere from from uh, you know 15 20 minutes to up to a couple hours depending on your location and the angle that the, that the moon passes in front so the notion that a comet that is that is smaller like a, a hundred times, two hundred times smaller than uh, than the moon, because the common element in core is extremely small. The nucleus is extremely small, and the uh, the coma its coma is breaking down because as it passed perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, it started to uh, disintegrate. So it's breaking down, and uh, when those particles get hit by the solar wind and spread out, they, uh, you know, they don't, they, they just can't, uh, they just can't mask anything. So right now, common elenin isn't big enough to do anything. It's, it's, uh, it's extremely small. So let's, uh, let me do a step by step, day by day, as it uh, makes its closest angular approach past the sun. All right, this is the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, 26th, and let's zoom in here. See, Common Ellen is is still so far away. I mean, it's not even close to going across the face. Let's take a look here at the angular distance. The angular separation is about two degrees, about two degrees of separation and Mercury's separation on the same day. Let's see, Mercury's separation is 1.2 degrees. So Mercury is even closer to the to the Sun and you know it's very very rare that Mercury transits across the face of the Sun. But uh, there's no possible way for Elenin to uh, pass in front of the Sun and cause a uh, eclipse for three days those uh, those pseudo truthers that are claiming doomsday are just are just uh, fear-mongering trying to scare people so if you have any questions just uh, send me a comment or uh, if you don't want to post it in the comments you want to post something a little longer just send me a send me a private message and uh, I'll, I'll tell you everything you want to know all right have a good day.